Hey, what's up guys? Happy Easter. Hope you're able to spend today with some family, friends, whatever it may be. I'm out here in California, so obviously couldn't make the trip to Wisconsin, but I did just get off the phone with my parents, and it's always a good time talking to them because they're older. They've learned some things, and quite frankly, I'm realizing that I am slowly becoming them. <laughs> and I'm blessed to be able to say that because I really do look up to my parents. They've taught me a lot of things that I have since realized were spot on. And our conversation today was no different. We were talking about all kinds of stuff, but it kept circling back to the one thing that's been on my mind a lot lately and that they have a lot of advice on. And that's just this whole relationship thing. They've been married for a long time, so I trust their opinions, I believe what they have to say, and I take it to heart. And one of the things that we ended up really going back and forth on was this concept of, is everyone meant to be in a relationship? And sometimes I think no. I think that some people just whatever it is about them, their characteristics, their independence, maybe their selfishness, quite frankly, it just leads them to be better off single. And that's not to say antisocial, but just not in a dedicated committal relationship. But my parents disagree with this. And this is something I'm coming up with in my own mind. But essentially, my dad was saying that he believes that in any relationship, a learning process has to occur. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're going to have to reach agreements and you're going to have to improve the things that you are lacking in. And I think that is true. I think that's definitely spot on. But I'm not sure if I completely agree yet because within myself, I know that I have a lot of stuff to work on, but a lot of it seems just character trait. And I guess that's to say that I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to change. For example, I am very independent. I like my alone time. I like to have my space and be able to do my thing. And I know that this might border on selfishness, but I know a lot of you can relate to that. You like to be doing what you do. And a lot of times in a relationship, that's just not an option. You're with someone else who has needs and you obviously want to accommodate those needs. For me, for example, I remember in my longest relationship, I went down the rabbit hole with my career. And it really took a toll on the person I was with. It took a toll on us. And I regret that because it was selfish. It was one-sided, single-minded focus. And I don't think that's a good thing. And I guess I've been battling this, like I said, just this thought that maybe I'm not cut out for it. But I'm hoping that what my dad said is right. I'm hoping that maybe I can learn. Maybe after two relationships of mistakes, things that I've done wrong, some things I would take back, I can go forward with that information and not do the same thing again. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping that, um, <laughs> I guess to use an Easter reference, I can resurrect the possibility in my mind that I will someday be happily with someone, maybe raising a family. Who knows, dude? Curious what you guys think about this. Do you think there's some people who are genuinely not cut out to be in a relationship or not. That's all I got to say today. Catch you guys tomorrow.